I've already cut this portion around the front. So I'm going to go to the back corner of this lip here, keeping all this lip skin. Get the bottom of the bottom of the jaw here. Try not to cut any holes. That's all loose. I'm gonna peel this around. I've already got towards the front. And there you go, there's the front of the skull. I'm on the top of the bridge of the nose here. Same thing, I'm over here at the eye, on this side. I'm gonna switch it around. Keep all this eye skin. When you get towards the eye here, you're gonna start seeing a bluish purple color. That's the eyeball. That's when you gotta got start going really slow. Keep all this eye skin, eyelashes, eyelids, and the tear duct intact. Getting towards the back corner of this lip here. I'm gonna keep all that skin on the back corner. Now, here's the skull, completely caped off. There's the eyeball in the skull. There's no hair around the horn bases. There's no eye skin attached to the skull here. I got all the tear duct out, which is right here. Eyeball should be in there. I cut the ears, there's the tiny hole, right where it touched the skull. There's no big patches of hair all around the back side of the horns. There's the other side, exact same thing. There's no lip skin all around the teeth and jaw here, and I have all the nose cartilage. This is how your skull should look once you cape it off for a sheep. Once again, the hunter cut this properly. There's the brisket flap, there's the leg flaps. He cut it long enough on the back. He kept it. Clean. By clean, I mean there's no sticks and dirt and rocks all over this. He didn't drag it through the mud. He didn't cape it on the rocks. It's all dirty and nasty. You have rocks all in it. This is nice and clean. This blood will come out later. For the head here, I have, there's the ear. Right where it attached to the skull, you have that tiny hole. There's the back corner of the lips. It curves around. I have the lips all the way around, all the lip skin. There's a nose cartilage. Here's that tiny flap in between the horns. I made sure to go slow and not cut that off. This is how you properly cape out a sheep. Hope that helps.